In 2019, the United States Navy decided to stop using bread and water as a punishment for sailors. This punishment was actually borrowed from the British Royal Navy and was used for a long time, even after the Royal Navy had stopped using it in 1891. One US captain used this punishment so much for small offenses that his ship was nicknamed USS Bread and Water. A modern version of this punishment might mean spending three days in the brig with only bread and water to eat. A couple of centuries ago, it could have meant being shackled in the brig for 30 days with only those two provisions. Although it seems harsh and unusual today, naval ships once considered bread and water punishment to be more humane compared to the other traditional penalties sailors faced at sea. Sailors were punished at sea in some pretty brutal ways. If a sailor messed up, they might have to climb up the mast and hang out there for a while, even in the cold. It was a lonely and uncomfortable punishment, but at least it was a good chance for the sailor to catch up on some reading. Sailors at sea faced some pretty harsh punishments back in the day. One of the worst was caning, where they'd get whacked on the backside with a solid cane. But believe it or not, this was considered a lighter punishment compared to others. Caning was mainly used on young sailors in the 1800s and early 1900s, when boys as young as 12 could join the British Royal Navy. Offenders would get 6 to 12 whacks with a thick 3 and a half foot cane, either in private or in front of their fellow sailors. Sailors at sea had some pretty brutal ways of punishing each other. If a young sailor messed up, he might get a good old-fashioned caning. But for more serious offenses, they could be publicly birchied. This meant getting 12 to 24 wax with a bunch of birch sticks. These sticks were usually soaked in steam, vinegar, or salt water to make them more flexible and painful. Flogging was a serious punishment for sailors back in the day. If they messed up, they could be tied to the mast and whipped in front of everyone with a cat o' nine tails. This could really hurt and even kill a person. The wounds from the whipping could get infected, so to prevent that, officers would rub salt into the cuts, which just made things worse. The United States Congress finally banned this in 1862. From the 1600s to the 1800s, sailors faced some pretty brutal punishments at sea. One of the worst was keelhauling, which comes from the Dutch word keelhalen. This involved throwing someone over the side of the ship and dragging them underneath to the other side. It was rare, but just as dangerous as flogging. Sailors had some pretty brutal ways of punishing each other back in the day. If someone did something really bad, they would hang them. They would tie up the person's hands and feet and put a rope around their neck. Then they would hoist them up in the air until they choked to death.